Hey everybody, I'm Ty Pennington. And I'm Amanda Brinkman, and we are the co-hosts of The Small Business Revolution. It's a series where each season we revitalize a different small town's main street through its small businesses. And we are in the midst of filming season five, and we are taking a time out to answer some fan questions that we have received. So, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's hear the questions. I think it's it's just the way the universe works sometimes. You guys called and said, would I be interested in doing it? And then I figured out, found out what the show was about and how the, it helped the entire town. And I was like, well, yeah, uh, I would love to be part of it. I'm just upset that they didn't hire me on the first one. So that's how that all came about. But ever since we've teamed up, we've been such a dynamic duo that so many lives, so many towns, so many uh, experiences that have been incredible. And now we're taking on an even bigger challenge with Fredonia in the middle of a pandemic. And the fact that we're actually making progress in the middle of all this is pretty incredible. So um, I just answered like seven questions in one. It's what I do. Fun. Hostile. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's fun. Here's what, I, here's what I love about this set is that everybody is working together unanimously for the cause, for the mission. Like we all believe in small businesses. We yeah. want to help these communities and these towns. And we're using our skills, our variety of skills, to make it happen. I mean, everyone from the film crew to the team at Deluxe to you to me, we're all working together in concert to help change lives. Yeah, and I think what, what it's also about is, is storytelling. And, uh, and honestly, I think that's the reason you get uh, passionately involved in anything. It's, it's, it's about sharing the story. And what I love about this show is it's not the story of one person or one family. It's the story of an entire community. And so I think the beauty of this show is it's a community of people that work together like we do, helping another community. But when you join forces and you work together, anything truly is possible because you can see all the other seasons that we've shot and you see that like the proof is in the pudding especially with the struggle the businesses are going through, it really is up to all of us that live in that community to help out these other businesses. And I think that's what's great about this show, is it shows you how we can all survive in, in tough situations. Absolutely, and I think it's a very hardworking set. Like I think yeah. whenever I'm telling people about like the actual hours we keep, the only way we can produce this show is because we're so efficient. You know, we want to use all as many dollars as possible to pour into the businesses in the community, not to spend it on production. And so we're super efficient. We work incredibly long hours. Yeah. The production team is unbelievable. Like our director of photography, the entire production team, like the fact that we can do this scale of a show with the small size crew that we have is pretty phenomenal. And so Yeah, side note, those guys are taking safety and precautions in such a and such a huge importance in making sure that we, we stick to guidelines. Uh, they've literally ridden uh, all together in one van, making sure that everybody uh, is, is spaced, but at the same time super healthy and wearing masks at the, at the same time. So, And of course, the only reason we're not wearing them right now is because that way you can understand what we're saying, But um, which is difficult without the mask on. So you, you get it. I'd say the people I mean, but I like, but yeah. we mean it. I mean, these communities that we're able to work with. I mean, it's a blessing to to go into these communities and see how they all work together in concert to help each other. What I love about Fredonia is it's uh, it's in that upstate area of New York where people are seasoned, they're family oriented, but there's not, like there's there's a salty sort of sense of humor to them because mm -hmm. they've they've been through cold winters, they've yeah. been through stuff like they know yeah. what how tough things can be and they know how to survive. Um, and I love the humor when people have been through things in their lives, you know, and I think uh, that's what this town is like, is like they love each other, but it's it's that um, it's a town that's been around. It knows like what the world is like. And I think that's why they're doing so well in this situation. Yeah, way back to the voting stage for season five, when we were doing one of our media tours, a reporter in Buffalo said, have you heard of Buffalo Love? And it was incredible because we're like, but we hadn't. Right, um, but Buffalo. It, it really is a thing like that. And it's Western legal. Western New York, like outside of Buffalo, like they that part of the, the state really bands together. Yeah. And they're the ones who drove the vote and brought us to the town, and we have definitely seen that with Anna Fredonia. 
Well, specifically right now, it is all about communicating with your customers. I think people are recognizing that this crisis has hit small businesses disproportionately and people yeah. want to support their small businesses within their community. And so we as business owners need to make that as easy as possible for them to do it. So it's about using every tool in your toolbox to be able to communicate clearly with your customers, making sure your website is updated, your directory listings are updated, that you're posting in social media. And the things that you need to be talking about are you know, your revised hours, how they can support you, are you moving to delivery or curbside or are you open for business? Just making sure that you're really staying in front of customers, again, making it as easy as possible for them to support you. And my advice would be, see, that's the nuts and bolts. That's the real, like, that's how you make a business work. My advice is to remember that the reason you got into this is because you wanted to be your own boss, because this was your dream, and keep that passion, because that's why you're gonna be successful, because you love what you do, and that's why you started your own business, because that's what I've seen, is the ones that succeed are because they love doing what they're doing, no matter the good times, the bad times, the hard times, you do it because you wake up every day, and you have to do it because it's, it's inside you. The question is, who is really the funny one? Well, that's like, a tough call. Well, you know, it, it kind of depends on what kind of funny we mean. Is it that's like ha ha funny? Is it right. like goofy funny? Or is funny? it weird funny? Because I got that category. Well, it's hard to say. I, I don't, don't know. know. Well, and then there's wit, which I really, I'm a fan of wit. So who's who's funnier? Oh, uh. I think uh, I think just like anything, I think there's an equal balance because like. In the job that we have to do, you we have to really explain real things so that people understand, because communicating is really how you succeed in any business. Um, and of course, I'm usually the guy, when you get just too serious, that remembers that, hey, it's all just funny. It's he'll, all just easy. He'll do this thing though where he'll go on, and he'll be telling a story, or I mean, one wouldn't call it a rant, but you could. <laughs> oh, it's a rant. Mm. And, and it's then a tie all of a sudden, rant. And you're like, you're halfway through, you're like, is this a real story? And then all of a sudden, <laughs> he's just a smirk a little bit, and you're like, oh. That was just a waste Still of two minutes time. of my yeah. life. Great now, story, bro. I, I do think we like to just keep it light in real life and also on the set. I think we're working long hours. We're really committed to this work. And yeah. then it, it's too, it's, it, I don't know, life's too short not to have fun all the time. So, One of the weirdest questions we've ever been asked, but thank you. My favorite thing about Amanda, I think, is her ability to, um, you have an ability to sort of stay on point and stay focused and not lose your train of thought, which is a rare thing. Because I know that our brains are similar and in, in the sense that they're constantly rapid firing things, but you, you process what comes out of your mouth before you let it out of your mouth, and I don't. I just like, it just goes blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, how'd that come out? And you're like, oh, we need to do that again. Well, yeah, you've built a very remarkable career in television, <laughs> which is reliant on words in a yes. certain order. Well, thank you. Thank so, you. Yes. So you've done a great job with it. My favorite thing about Ty is that you just, when you are in a room, it just feels brighter and happier. You, you have a really great way of making people feel very comfortable. I think when we're going to these communities, I mean, you're a big time celebrity. People are very nervous to meet you, but you're just so kind and authentic. And that is what the spirit of this whole thing is about. I mean, Small Business Revolution is meant to, in real life, truly help other people. And so to have you as a part of this team and the fact that you are kind of you're on brand with what we're trying to do. It's just, it's great. You don't always see that from celebrities, so. Well, let's hope we got that recorded. You guys were rolling, right? Perfect. So uh, that's really all the time we have uh, for this right now, but we just want to let you know, um, we are still like, I, what I th find amazing about this is we're still so passionate about this show and, and helping out uh, small businesses. And there's no time that's been ever more important than right now. And so we just want you guys to know, all of us here, we're making sure that we continue this um, and make sure that these businesses can survive this. And it's, it's been a struggle for everyone, including the film crew, but um, stay, stay in touch, stay tuned, keep watching, uh, because I think this season's gonna be really special because it's gonna be very real. It, it, one thing I want to say is when we were first starting to film this season, I remember we were just starting to hear in America a little bit about this virus, uh, yeah. just a little bit. And I remember we actually had a production discussion around, like, do you think this COVID thing is even going to show up this season? Do you think this is going to come up? Will it affect the businesses at all? Like, what will it be? And then you fast forward like four weeks later, and it's like this entire season is going to be about COVID and, yeah. and how small businesses can survive during these 
I'll say it, unprecedented times. And so uh, we're looking forward to the fall. The show will launch, season five will launch on November 10th. So continue to follow along in social media as we get closer to the launch. We'll be posting a bunch of behind the scenes stuff and new news about the season coming out. And season five will be on Hulu, Prime Video, and smallbusinessrevolution.org. And one other thing, remember this, like small business and helping support those small businesses is a real thing. Like, these small businesses will not survive without our help. So if you can order uh, local, you know, local restaurants, if you can go to a mom and pop's hardware store, all the above, remember, those people cannot survive without our help. And that's what it's all about. It's like all of us getting through this together.